back everybody, DJ Numismatics, and thank goodness pennies and nickels aren't affected by the coin shortage. Got a circulated box of pennies here, and uh, hopefully we find something good. There's a lot of memorial back, so hopefully they're not all just zincs, and we find something worth making a video about. Alright, let me start cracking. We're on roll 11, and we're going to have our first wheat in Canadian. We got a 1947 from Denver. Wheat set number one. And right here, we've got Canadian number one. No date on the back, so that is going to be a 2002. We're on roll 13. And if you look right here, we got a 1946 from Denver and a Canadian. I guess I don't mind finding Canadians as long as I find a wheat sense along with them. Granted, this wheat sense has definitely seen better days. But wheat sense number two is a 1946 Denver. And Canadian number two, where did it go? Okay, okay, I just lost it. Is nope. A nineteen ninety nine. We're on roll twenty one and Canadian, but we also got some weights. This is gonna be Canadian number three. And that is in 1989. And for the wheat, we got a 1945 S. Wheat set number three. We're on roll 38. And we've got a set. Where did they go? The wheat bags. This will be wheat set number four. And that is a 1956 from Denver. We're on roll 42, and if we look right there, we got some dark wheats. Let's pull it and see what we got here. That is a 1944. I was hoping it was going to be a little bit older, and I'm seeing right here. We have that was wheat set number five. This is Canadian. Number four, that's a 1976. We're on the 50th and final roll, and looks like we're gonna get one more Canadian. And that is a 1972. Five and five. All right, let me go through this roll, run through this stack of possible varieties, and we'll do a wrap up. Well, I didn't come up with any varieties, but we did get five wheats. Five Canadians. We got a 69, 70, a few 71s, and a few 74s. S minute, of course, non DDO, 69. Then I came up with a 72. It's not the RPM, but if you look at the border there, it does have a, a slight misaligned die. It's in pretty rough shape. I thought I'd just show you though. And then I did find a pretty nice 1975D. So, not the longest hunt, not the best hunt in the world, but still a hunt. So, like always, I'm going to post a link right here from my eBay page. Check it out. I'm going to have something you want or need. And until next time, happy hunting, everybody, and thanks for watching. Here we go.